when I tell somebody I'll meet them halfway, <laughs> when you tell someone that you will meet them halfway, you won't ever know where halfway is. To some folks, halfway is not doing any of the work at all. Look at group work. Even in a, a school setting, even in an academic setting, you're gonna have those who, by, for, for, for sheer ethic, by sheer ethic, will put in so much work that they'll shame everybody else. They'll put everybody else's ethic to shame. They exist, man. They're diamonds on the rough. So much so that they're self-conscious about not working. And then you got slackers. Contribute nothing. Can't carry a lick of salt. And yet, we all have to share this grade, right? I mean, it's become more and more equitable as time has gone on. Some professors uh, recognize and have grown more vigilant of these forces. Those who put in the work and those who just slack off and, and coast on the backs of everybody else's work back of everybody else's grade in life in corporate it doesn't end once you get out of school you get up off the street you stop fucking around some you realize that corporate is gonna continue testing you pushing your limit as to what half way means to you. The beauty of it all is that you can define halfway again. You can define halfway anew. With every interaction you have and every new set of circumstances, and every one of them is special. You should be able, you should want to personalize your interaction with people. Every new opportunity you get. Why? Well, for one, that's how reputations are made, right? That's how first impressions, second impressions, that's just how impressions come across. It's gonna be through meeting someone halfway. And again, distances may vary. What halfway means to one person means something completely different, may mean something completely the opposite to another. One person's meeting someone halfway, putting in uh, half, you know, half, uh, half of the work, carrying with half of the workload, for them might be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. No real exertion on their part. Maybe it's just something that's well within their, their wheelhouse. But they can take it up on themselves and execute it. Have something, uh, yield some kind of fruit from it, some kind of product from it very easily. Otherwise, it's communicating it, being direct, but again, being open to negotiate where halfway lies, where halfway is, where halfway stands. There might be some instances where it's well within your area of uh, knowledge, We're well within your area of expertise to claim halfway for the sake of creating time, for the sake of creating 
time for yourself. I mean, still, you're not going to slack off and half-ass an initiative, half-ass a project, because your halfway is qualitatively less stressful than your partner's. It's an opportunity for you to shine. It's an opportunity for you to over deliver. You don't have to do double the work, but you can over deliver. If, if the work is that easy for you, doing it in a creative manner is where innovation comes from. It's what makes work groups better. Just matter of meeting somebody halfway but being conscientious about it being sincere about it sincerely meeting someone halfway it's going in halves with someone half up front and again the the amounts required may vary from person to person partner to partner Something you have to be conscious about. It ain't all, it ain't, it won't always be tied numerically to some function or formula that, where, where some artificial equality can be achieved. Nah. These kinds of Quantities are tied to uh, more equitable principles of what halfway means from person to person. And as it's defined from case to case. And it's going to be fact specific. Fact specific. It'll depend on circumstances. might be some uh, instances where halfway to you means having to do more as opposed to having to do less but you know creatively that's where the creative shines when it's your time to do more it's your time to surprise someone pop up on them and inform their impression whether their impression that they had of you was right or wrong for some I mean in some instances of the more uh, extra legal type if you're going to venture into the realm of Aggression, violence, meeting somebody halfway amounts to meeting someone at their opening threat, let's say, as soon as they exhibit some form of open threat. Meeting them at that and then going all the way. I mean, we're talking instances where violence is a certainty. It's a guarantee. It's gonna happen. And that entails you going all the way, meeting someone halfway and then going all the way. That's, I mean, that's just coming correct. That's, that's just coming into a situation correctly having words I mean having used up all of your words it, it would be time to back them up right and you can only meet somebody halfway at your words before you have to back them up and commit all the way
just a concept that I was mulling over. This concept of halfway. Now, if it sounds... <laughs> Remix! Yo, man, fuck it. Meet him halfway, then. A little check back with you. Today is Monday, February 7th. This shit's proof of life, yo. If you have to meet somebody halfway, fuck it. Go all the way. Don't, yo, don't leave them any fucking leg work. If you can take it upon yourself to come up with a plan and execute it, what the fuck are you waiting for? What, you need somebody to hold your hand? God damn. Some motherfucker, some other motherfuckers making excuses while you're doing all the work anyways. And this motherfucker wants to see you hurt. Wants to see you go down. Wants to see you expend all your energy and waste yourself away. Well, well, if you can set the deal up and knock down any motherfucker in the way, on the, on, on, on the path to achieving it, I mean, obviously, obviously keep it within bounds of righteousness, okay? Don't go out of your way snaking every motherfucker that crosses, you know, that, 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 uh, that crosses your, uh, your fucking path, right? That gets in your way that, uh, that you meet. Don't snake every motherfucker you meet, right? But there are going to be some individuals who don't put forth the effort to be partners, to be business associates, to be in your fucking circle. And then there are going to be some that are actually counterproductive, that become dead weight to themselves, that, that, couldn't, that couldn't feed themselves, that couldn't find a way to make it work if their fucking life depended on it. And not only that, but they'll sell out your position. Some motherfuckers just can't be trusted. Obviously, you can't, you, you can't go waste every motherfucker that, that you come across who isn't up to par with your standards of professionalism. Okay, I get it, right? I deal with quote unquote diverse peoples every day. Like I said before, there is a role for everybody. Everybody fits a space. Everyone plays their part. Everyone has a position to fill. Everyone has a position to fill. And then there are those motherfuckers who, who, who could not, again, for the life of them, even fill the most mediocre position. What, they think menial labor, hand, uh, 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 manual labor is above them? Is, is below them, is beneath them. They think they're above manual labor? Motherfucker, the dirt never ends. Corporate is not, corporate is not respite. It's not a safe haven, yo. It's not a safe space. It isn't a haven to get away from the work. These motherfuckers like to think that, oh, as soon as I get promoted, as soon as I, I make it to corporate, oh, I'ma settle. I ain't got to meet no motherfucker halfway ever again. Nah, when you have people like Alex, when you have corporate cowboys in your ranks, you better keep an eye on them. Why? Because if you slight them, if you slight them for your own personal gain, oh, because Alex is rocking the boat, oh, because I know Alex will pull it through, oh, I know it's not on Alex's job duty, but this nigga isn't unionized, so he, he's not going to work just to the letter. I know Alex puts forth 110%. He's, he can be counted on. He's dependable. I can just stack work on him. Yo, <clears throat> with that extra 10%, over a hundred that Alex puts down, he's digging your grave. And it is what it is. He'll meet you halfway to your grave. <laughs> oh shit, yo. Oh, whoops. Sometimes, sometimes that's what you need. You need to meet somebody halfway where they would have been, where they should be, given their potential to work. 
given their potential in their position. Given their positional potential in an organization. Some motherfuckers just slack off. Some motherfuckers are dead weight. Treat them as such. Yo, if you haven't visited the page on Instagram, that shit's probably dead by now. But every now and then, I do get on and I interact with, uh, with some commentary. We follow a couple of uh, reputable, uh, larger size pages. So we do what we can as far as interaction goes on a, on a smaller, more micro level with, uh, with, with, the, with the individual and uh, with those pages also. But the podcast, you can still find anywhere podcasts are distributed on Apple Podcasts and, uh, and on Spotify. Um, but by all means, you can subscribe to the Patreon, keep the operation non for profit. Any funds that come in go towards business expenses and legal fees. The goal is to keep it non for profit for as long as possible. So we, until we're dead and gone, six feet under, man. As soon as we are able to formalize something, put something down legally on paper. Make this a legal person, not just a human, a uh, human person, but an actual legal entity. I mean, that's gonna be when uh, the big moves start happening. That's gonna be when the waves actually start coming in. Because right now, I mean, we're just we're just dropping bombs out in the fucking ocean. We're fishing with dynamite out here, and what happens happens, right? So a lot of it is street shit, but the street doesn't just end at the curb. You feel me? <laughs> What happens on the street follows you home. What you do at work follows you home. You take your work home with you every day. You think you can just separate what is the professional, what is the public, and what is the private. All those fears converge on you. On you. That is some corporate cowboy shit. You ought to be the consummate professional you need to be. You need to want it. Why? Because you have to be it. If you aren't it, man, line up to get crossed out, motherfucker.